Um, the All Stars are on, I suppose, ten or twelve days ago at this stage. We went through briefly last week with with Liam and Niall, and we were talking about their book, Illustrated Tales of the Terrace. But looking back in the episode, we didn't spend enough time, I suppose, reflecting. We spent a share of time talking about Sean Finn and William Dunhu and missing out, and we will get to that. But Dermot Burns, you know, not only to win her of the year, but to, to set records on the way to do it as a defender. He's coming from the same club as Keane Lynch and Aaron Galan, who will take so many plaudits for their skill up front. But, you know, from start to finish, Dara Burns was, you know, a key leader in the Limerick team, one of the best. Now, I did say Barry Nash would have been as equally deserving as Dara, but Dara did get the award. But I think it's important to reflect on what was really an incredible year for Dara. And, you know, I think he was really unlucky in 18 to miss out on an All-Star. He's got three in a row now. He's got four All-Irelands, four Munster medals. He captain Limerick to 21's All-Ireland. Um, you know, not only for this year, but it's a, it's it caps, not caps, but another exclamation on a really brilliant career so far for Dermot Burns. Yeah, Jack, and um, I I would not like to focus in too much on, on 2022, other, other than to say that any accolades that came his way in 2022 were, were richly deserved. But Jack, the contribution of Dermot Burns to the Limerick Odyssey, to the Limerick success story, has been absolutely simply phenomenal. And you've charted it there. And it goes all the way back to 2015, when, when he captained uh, that team managed by John Kiley um, to an All-Ireland under-21 success. And in, in fairness to most supporters in Limerick at the time, Jack, they probably didn't see it coming. No, there was a, there was a pool of players there um, from the 2013 and 2014 minor teams, of which Dermot wasn't a member, but you know, with a whole raft of players uh, coming through, you you needed a special leader um, in that particular year if you were to take him to the next level. And by God, did he do it! And um, of course, his record since has been phenomenal. Um, three All Stars, which. Which to me is a little bit is 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 not full recognition. Um, I would mm. say four All Irelands, four Munster medals, two league medals, central to the whole act. And in his performances in 20, 2022, you know they were at they were at a new level, Jack, complete new level. And um, you you know it 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 it, it is one decision of um, I know it was voted on by his peers. But it, it is one decision that I could not uh, for a second disagree with. Now, Barry Nash in 2022, a very strong claims to be hurler of the year. Absolutely fantastic for Limerick. And translated that type of form into um, his performances with South Liberties. Yeah, of course. And was one, was one of the mainstays in South Liberties getting back in the last season, seeding and getting through. Um, as the first B team um, to qualify for the for the for B to A team in the in the the format of the senior hurling championship as it presently stands, and um, uh, I know um, it, it it may not have ended as they would have hoped it ended in that game against Napierschik, um, but we have spoken about the prowess of Napierschik um, since and in before and after in the aftermath of the of the county final. But he, he, he was a very, very worthy contender. But look, it, it, it's had his congratulations to Dermot Burns. And um, uh, you'd have to say absolutely nothing more than he deserved. Definitely not. Um, you know, I know sending your 36 points from wing back. And a lot of them came at very, very important times. And his score against Kilkenny really stands out. Um, caught an O'Murphy puck out and straight over the bar. And I think it really sent a real message that you know, this Limerick team were, were, were really ready and primed to complete that three in a row. As you mentioned, Barry Nash would have been equally deserving. I think Declan Hannan, you know, had a, had a really special year. And seven All-Stars, again, like we said last week, is an indication of where Limerick are. We spent an awful long, long number of years. If you got four or five nominations, you'd be delighted. Not alone, seven actually chosen on the team. Um, But there's always going to be some sort of, I, I don't know, um, dispute with it and I think Sean Finn and William Dunhu in particular are um are hard done by 
but I think at the end of the day, and, and, big... and possibly and possibly Seamus Flanagan. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm slight. I, I'm I'm slightly perplexed, Jack, but it's very easy to perplex a simple mind. But um, what I cannot reconcile is you win two in a row, you get 12 All-Stars, you win three in a row and you get seven. I think it just goes so, by a year by year I know, basis. I, 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 know, I know it doesn't work like that. You know, yeah. but, um, um, you, you know, I, I have been in the past, in the past, um, very, very critical of the All Stars, uh, particularly um, uh, the fact that Nicky Quaid. Now, thanks be to God, he's two All Stars, but um, it, 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 it's less than he deserves. And I, w- I, I will argue it with anybody. Um, but as I said, my criticism hasn't moved very far, Jack. It has remained. It's gone from number one to number two. And nobody will convince me or go anywhere towards convincing me. But the best cornerback in, in Ireland in 2022 was Sean Finn. Absolutely outstanding, Mr. Consistency. And he sent home from Dublin without an all-star. Stress. Yeah, I think there's no doubt that Sean Finn is the best cornerback in the game. I think William Lino is the best midfielder in the game. I don't think there's any dispute in that. But, um, you know, to be fair, Mikey Butler was good. He wasn't Sean Finn's level, but I suppose um, voter fatigue comes into it. And I suppose um, heart back to basketball sometimes, and I don't know if you watch basketball at all, but LeBron James was the best basketball player in the world for 10 12 years. But after a while, he stopped winning the most valuable player award because he had gotten so many of them. I think Sean Finn kind of suffers from that as well. That uh, you kind of underappreciate, I know Limerick don't underappreciate him at all, but I think voters do to an extent, and they like to give someone else an award, and that's fair enough. But I think Sean Finn is still the best in, in the country, I think that's fair to say. You, you, you know, you're you're talking about these guys, Jack, and 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 um, you know they they reach the dizzy heights in 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 of completing three in a row in July in Croke Park, and they would be excused, and you would excuse them, and um, you know if 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 their performances slipped somewhat when they went back to their clubs, but not a bit of it, Jack. This this just tells you the type of guys that they are. Like Sean Finn was outstanding for Brough. I thought outstanding in the county final. We saw the performance of Willem Wooden in the county final. You know, yeah. absolutely fantastic. Like these 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 guys are, are role models, Jack, in the way they go about their business. And um, I I I think those two are extremely unlucky. Now we didn't select Willem Wooden on the team. Be, uh, our team when we were predicting it because we were second guessing um, we were second guessing the geniuses that were, that were selecting it you know and we, 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 we probably got that right but it doesn't yeah. mean the fact that we crystal balled and got it right doesn't mean it is right yeah 100% and, I, oh. I, I, and what annoyed me about what annoyed me a bit about the All-Stars this year they were eulogising the monster final from start to finish, the great monster final that we had this year. And a man scores eight points from play and he doesn't get an all star. Yeah, I know, I know. Um I actually watched back that monster final on the Bank Holiday Monday. Um <laughs> you can see why they were eulogizing. But it looked as there's a case to be made for a lot of players. Um, there's a case to be made for players that weren't even nominated. But um, you know, look, you'll you'll take seven at the end of the day. Um first and foremost, it's all about Lee McCarthy. <laughs> We'll take seven because we don't have a choice, Jack. That's yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, and the players will say it as well. It's all about that Lee McCarthy and that Celtic cross medal, and they they picked up a fourth one, uh, a third in a row, and, and that's that is the main yeah, thing. That's, yeah, that's that's that that's that's the main one. But the kudos that go with that achievement should, and uh, the laurels should rest where they belong. I think, and I, I that's that's my saying. It no more all stars until uh, hurling all stars. Until um, uh, until um, twelve months time, if we're still around, and um, um, there, there will be a vague reference to football all stars coming up shortly. Yeah, 